please get ready for a dictation of transcription number 90 from Sir Kailash Chandra magazine. Five seconds. Start. Now, there is another aspect of the rubber industry, namely the rubber producing industry, which has been entirely left out of the consideration of this bill, that is the rubber manufacturing industry. My honorable friend, Mr. R. P. Sinha has rightly pointed out that aspect. We find that Indian rubber production has been consumed by the rubber manufacturing industry in India. So here is the question of increasing Indian production. As with the tea trade, the question is of export. As yet, the structure of the tea trade and the trends of the tea trade are such that it is mainly dependent on export and whenever there is any loss of export market, there is a hue and cry of a crisis. But in the case of the rubber industry, all the rubber produced in India is consumed by the rubber manufacturing industry in India. Rubber is a very important commodity and this industry should also be developed here. There is a deficit in Indian production. So the government thinks of allowing import of rubber. If the production of rubber is increased by 27,000 tons a year, that will be consumed in India. That is all very true. So my point is that in connection with the development of the rubber industry, we cannot leave the rubber manufacturing industry out of our consideration. These are closely connected with one another. Coming to the question of the rubber manufacturing industry, my friend Mr. R. P. Sinha has rightly pointed out that it is also dominated mainly by foreign companies. The rubber manufacturing industry in India produces various types of rubber goods from tires to waterproofs and other rubber materials. They produce tires and tubes, cables, general mechanical goods, including roofing, footwear, and so on. But the predominant position in the rubber manufacturing industry is occupied by Messrs. Dunlop Rubber Company, Messrs. Firestone Tire and Rubber Company, Bata India, etc. And from the figures which have been given in the report of the Indian Tariff Board, it is seen that the average total consumption of rubber is distributed among a large number of small industries. Here also the question that arises is this. How should we treat these concerns, these big gigantic concerns? Sir, I have not studied the condition of labor in these industries of Masters Dunlop, Firestone and Goodyear Company. Therefore, just now, I am not in a position to give you the picture of their condition. But the question is that from the price of rubber in India, in relation 
to the world price of rubber these people are mostly benefiting it is true that prices cannot be fixed in such a way that the big concerns will pay one price for the rubber and the small concerns will pay another price for rubber here also the main question that comes is this if we want to develop the small units the question arises of putting some check on the profits made these big foreign concerns must go it is they who are taking all the advantage of the present position in india about that aspect i find that there has been no mention in the bill and there was no indication in the speech of the honorable minister for commerce then lastly i would like to say that here also the government has taken the power to appoint the chairman and is going to reconstitute the board the same remarks which i made in connection with the chairman of the coffee board are valid here if it is the intention of the government to break the domination of the foreign rubber growers or big rubber growers in the rubber board i think it will be circulated to honorable members later on let there not be any foreign representation on the board if the government is not prepared to accept that suggestion then also it can take certain other minimum steps it can increase the representation of small growers it can increase the representation of labor the representation of small growers has been increased by one but the representation of labor should be increased i do not suggest the number now in this manner if the government thinks that the reconstitution of the rubber board is essentially necessary in order to exercise its powers for the development of the rubber industry then the reconstitution should be on proper lines not simply by having a nominated chairman not simply by indulging in i wash activities the government should do everything to check the big foreign interests and big growers mr vice chairman as has been pointed out we have a series of similar bills rubber is a cash crop and therefore i think the government should be very careful to see that in fixing the price of rubber the price of the manufactured articles is borne in mind